I'm Mira Eid. And I'm Monique Milan. And we are in Dr. Fox's College Credit Intro to Education Class 2016. Today we will be showing you a timeline of um, different presidents and when they served throughout their presidency in the United States with the website uh, www.readwritethink.org. So uh, we have our timeline here. You can organize your timeline in three different ways. First, we have date. August 20th, December 20th, etc. You can set a date of when you like it. Okay, next we have time. Time is like when you wake up, any when you go to bed, anything that you want to set your events to to remind you about the time. The third event is um, the actual events. Um, <laughs> when you want to plan your garden, you can set your events any weekly, monthly, yearly reminders. Um, so let's get started. To start off, you have to write your name and your project title. So first, you can cl um, click anywhere on this timeline. So we clicked on like the first because that's where we're gonna start our events. Because we're doing presidency and we're gonna go or in, um, order, we use George Washington because he was the first president of the US. So once we have finished the um, label and the short description, we can click over here where it says choose image. And um, we have saved these pictures in our Google Drive. So you just go to files and you pick your file that you have. They should all pop up right here. You click on George Washington and it will appear right in this box as you see here. And if you need to, you can write a full description on the event. So this is the preview of what the picture is gonna look um, like. And then once you're done, you click the check and then you can position it so you can even move this down or up or side, however way you like it. But because we're doing so many, we're gonna do them closer together. So next, we're gonna go to the second one and click our next president, which is um, John Adams. Just like we did again, we're gonna choose the image. There he goes, pops up right on the screen. You can always delete your image too if you need to. It says delete image right here. Anything happens, you wanna delete it. So you click the check, then again you can move it up and down. Um, now we're gonna be doing our fourth president. So you click on your timeline anyway. Uh, do it rather close to the front because we are still on the fourth. So uh, James Madison, fourth president of the United States, do the same things as we did for the previous uh, two, three I should say. Select the picture, select the image. Now you can actually um, size it however way you want. You can. Um, Minimize, you can turn it to any way you really feel that um, James Madison wants it to be. So as you can see, we have him as a slant and we put him in the third, the fourth president. But Amira, we missed the third president. Oh, but see, you can actually do this. Because we missed the third president, you can move this little bubble anywhere on the timeline you'd like. So because we missed the third president, we're gonna move it slightly, click between the second and the fourth, to make our third president. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> so right now we're just typing in our information for the third president and like we did before, we are selecting our image from Google Drive. I said you can minimize it, click OK when you're done, and click the check, and position it wherever you would like it to be. So as you can see here, George Washington was the first, then John Adams, then Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison. So they all go in one order, one through four, 
And so when you are done with your timeline, you click this um, finish arrow right here, and it brings you to this, and you can save it as a draft, save as final. So once you save it as a draft, you can click save, and you can save it as a, um, in your Google Drive, and you name it, put it in the folder you want it to be in. So we're going to be naming it as U.S. President's Timeline, and it has been saved. So now we have the option. We can, um, if you saved it as a final, you can send as a final, but now we're going to print it. So you're going to click print, and it shows up just the way how we presented it in the document. Once you hit print, and you click the um, destination, you have finished. Now, there are two steps. So before, you had the timeline on one sheet. On the second sheet, it will print out the list of presidents, one through four, as you can see here on this board. Um, George Washington, John, Thomas, and James, all in one order, and that will print as a second sheet um, to look like on for the timeline. And the second sheet will have the full description like you wrote on the timeline. Indeed it will. All right. That's uh, timeline on uh, readwritethink.org. Thanks for time. That's about it. And then if you want to like continue with your events, the next president would be uh, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> John Adams. Pause it. We're not redoing that. We're solving.